Hey, this is Jason from freecfabadvice.com, and we're now on the forum, which is forward slash forum after that. Uh, we have a question here from Color Lady. She's been a longtime member. She asks or says, several years ago, I had an in-lab sleep test and found that I have moderate to severe sleep apnea. A local company showed up at my door, gave me a machine and a mask, and told me to send my little uh, SD card to prove compliance to meet my insurance company's requirement to cover the machine. Once the compliance period was over, they didn't care about the data anymore totally normal. Uh, they already have your money. Uh, now years later and 20 pounds lighter, no one monitors the results that the little disc supposedly holds. A few times I proactively sent it into the equipment company so they could send results to my doctor and ENT. And all he said was, oh yeah, it shows that you're compliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much what they say. I don't have the time or patience to use sleepy head. You know what that was? She knew exactly where I was going with that, and she totally cut me off at the knees. I was going to suggest that. So I don't have the time or patience to use sleepyhead, but I want an expert to look at my data or test me again to know if I'm using the right pressure and the best kind of machine. Seems all the equipment company is interested in and gave me to buy replacement masks every couple of months. Yep, pretty much true. And the doctor is not very interested in either. Just fired him, by the way. Where do I look for the professionals that can help me with this? I will answer that right now. Okay, so Color Lady was being followed by her ENT doctor. Typically, I would say like 99% of patients are followed or monitored with their uh, CPAP compliance by their primary care physician and even, you know, like a, an ENT pulmonologist, something like that. A lot of these doctors, even though that's their, you know, even a pulmonologist who's very closely linked to sleep apnea, a lot of times they don't understand. Uh, CPAP, CPAP treatment, they don't understand the mass, the treatments, the pressures, uh, what to look for, for changing your pressure, that kind of thing. So a lot of this really does lie on you as the patient to monitor. Um, the DME, the company that provides your mask and equipment, that's all they want to do is provide your mask and equipment. They don't really care um, how compliant you are after the fact because they've already met that initial Medicare or insurance company standard to get your machine paid for. Uh, and to get you basically hooked as a customer for life. Um, once you've passed that period, <laughs> you're, you're pretty much on your own. Um, they're not being paid for that, so they're not gonna do that. So if you wanna have some kind of uh, oversight by professional, you really do need to do this through your doctor. Uh, whatever the doctor is, you are probably gonna have to be the one that goes in and makes some kind of a complaint or goes in for an appointment and says, you know, how do I know if I'm doing well on this? I lost 20 pounds. Well, as we know, 20 pounds plus or minus or two years is enough to warrant a sleep study or some kind of an evaluation, a reassessment of your CPAP therapy. Um, so in her case, she lost 20 pounds, but it's probably gonna go down, uh, you know, probably significantly, but we don't know that. So um, really the responsibility comes back to you as the patient. So what I would suggest is you go into your physician, you say, it's been two years or I've gained or lost weight. I don't know that I'm being uh, treated properly still. And so in my area, what we do is a home auto CPAP titration. And really all that is, is doing what exactly what you're doing. Send you home with a machine. The machine's going to automatically adjust after a week or three week period, whatever it is. We're going to check out the data and see where you fall as far as where the pressure should be. And it's going to pick up things like leaks, uh, pressure. Um, that's pretty much it. You know, whether any events are tagged or not, and then it'll tell us, you know, again, what pressure is appropriate. Now she said she didn't want to use Sleepyhead. Sleepyhead is a great tool. Uh, it's very easy to use. I have a couple videos on it. If you just search in my channel, the Lanky Lefty 27, if you just look up uh, Sleepyhead, I have several videos on it. One shows you how to download it and use it. The other one shows you how to like evaluate your data and throw out events and whatnot. Um, but you can use this also. Uh, it's still not going to get your prescription to have your pressure changed, but uh, it, it'll at least tell you more about your therapy and compliance. So, so basically I guess the long uh, story or the long explanation of this is there really is no professional to help you with this other than your primary care doctor who's going to have to order a test for you. That test would be a home auto CPAP titration. And at that point, the data would be read by a sleep doctor. And at that point is when you'd be most likely treated appropriately or you'd know where you need to be. Um, that's using the professional avenues. Um, if you wanna do the do it yourself way, sleepy head and then a bunch of youtube videos on how to change the pressure uh, hopefully that helps if you're not a member of my forum please join it's freecpapadvice.com forward slash forum uh, please hit the like button on this video and then subscribe to our channel i would greatly appreciate it 
Again, my name is Jason, and thanks. Bye.